It was just the riskiest, most out there, fantastic, vibrant night in the theatre. I worked really hard to try and make it a play of ideas. Actor Jeremy Sims takes over the airwaves. Artist Hijack, Tuesday from 7.30 on Studio. War of the Worlds, you know, really actually came to me as the Jeff Wayne musical, which was this fantastic late 70s double album experience. Um, he toured with it out here recently, but Richard Burton did the voice on it from the novel. So it wasn't, it wasn't connected to Orson Welles at all. It was, you know, no one would ever believe in the last years of the 19th century. And this fantastic, bum, 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 I don't, people at home that know it will be going, oh, I love that album. Through that, I discovered about this radio version of the War of the Worlds that Orson Welles did in New York in the 30s. He caused terror uh, over, over the radio listening audience in New York who he was play, played a game with them to make them kind of believe that there was an alien invasion taking place, and they really did. And I so admired the idea that you could do that. Orson Welles' career is ridiculous. You know, the heights it's reached and the depths it's gone to. I used to love the Kenny Everett video show. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it used to be on the ABC before the goodies or just after the goodies. And those two shows were really influential on me in terms of absurdity. Um, Kenny Everett was hysterical. He used to do this thing. At the, that time, Orson Welles was... Um, his main source of income was doing ads for Nashua plain paper copiers in the day when Xerox machines were brand new. And he used to do this ad in black and white, and I can still remember it. And he'd take his glasses off and he had a huge stoogy cigar and he'd go, hello, my name's Orson Welles. Nashua, plain paper copiers, when only the best will do. And smoking, and he had this big black fedora hat on. It was such an amazing look and he went, oh, I'm sure in the time they went, oh, poor Orson, whatever happened. Um, Anyway, Kenny Everett used to do spoofs of those things, so he had this ad and he'd sit there dressed as Orson Welles with a big beard and a fat suit on and a stoogie cigar and the fedora. But on top of the fedora was a big white plastic horse. And he'd just sit there and he'd go, Hello, my name... Well, he did it to camera, she'd go, Hello, my name is Horse on Wells. Get it? Horse on Wells. <laughs> that was it. And I used to laugh at myself, stupid. <laughs> this white plastic horse on top of this very serious man with a cigar. Anyway, that's what happened to Orson Welles. And nowadays, of course, he's regarded as you know, the, the genius that, that reignited the idea of, of quality storytelling in movies, which at the time was kind of missing. And, and, and for all sorts of reasons, he's extraordinary. But um, I kind of love the wastefulness of him. 